Hello and welcome back to some more 999 9 hours 9 persons 9 doors from last episode. We a lot of things happened last episode. Uh Snake got lost and we came across we, we got out of the casino, Snake got lost, came across the three doors, we went we went searching around a bunch of random rooms searching for the, the the thing we needed to fix the doors, and then they got fixed by themselves. So that was interesting. And we and and at the end of the last episode we came across a choice. The choice was do we go through door three, door seven, or door eight? And I chose door eight, which may seem counterintuitive, because uh, w the, w the, one of the people who's going into door eight is someone who we're not currently the biggest fan of. However, the logic that I use is that, to put it simply, I don't trust her at all, as a matter of fact. I don't trust her to not do something dumb that's going to screw us all over in the end. So we're going to go through door eight to keep an eye on her. That's the game plan here. Okay, eight it is. Yeah. All right, then. That means June's got to go through seven. What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Or three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. There are no other combinations. In other words, Three and four, and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no, you're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. Uh, hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. <laughs> That's some foreshadowing. We gotta split up, but this is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? Well, you if see- they don't, oh. neither team can get through door nine. If I can click on the menu, please, thank you. I have this thing called the flowchart, which shows me, uh, um, e either here or here, they meet up. You see, I have a, I literally have a flowchart of this whole game, so I, I know they connect at some point. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna see each other again. That's an odd way- I just realized that's an odd way to say it. You could've just said the ninth door or door nine. The nine door is a strange... Yes. ...phrasing. <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway? That's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? What? Okay, so let's, let's assess our team here. Half of you, I really don't care for at all, uh, and I'm really- I really only went through the store just to make sure I can keep an eye on you so that you don't do anything dumb. The other one, you know, I mean, she kind of ran off at the end of the last episode, which was dumb, but other than that, she, she's- she's fine. No real complaints there. It's open. Okay. Alright, let's stop, take a breath, and step into the great unknown. Bonus points if anybody understood that reference. <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing? Give me like five seconds. Oh, <laughs> okay, that, that was, um, <laughs> that was weird. The, 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 the game had a panic attack for a second and just Hurry. blurred the whole screen. Ugh. Oh, it stopped. Pointless. <laughs> what an unpleasant girl. <laughs> Pot, meat, kettle. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. Hmm, maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. Too late now. I better catch up to them. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. There's a door on the left, though. A laboratory? Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either, but there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Jinpei. Huh? 
Please, you first. Ugh, fine. What could possibly go wrong? A lot of things, actually. You know, I think the window looks into another room. Oh, really? You find that together all by yourself? Maybe for monitoring something. What the hell? <sighs> looks so creepy. Yeah, that's not disturbing at all. I don't know what you're talking it's about. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a laboratory, right? I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be experimented on. Ooh. Uh... It's creepy either way. I don't think that thing's gonna suddenly sit up or something, do you? Well, I don't know. If it does, I'm gonna run the other direction as soon as I po as fast as I possibly can. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. <sighs> Stop it. Just thinking about it is terrifying. Wait, where's Clover? <laughs> what is she? Are you okay? What are you talking about? What? I I'm just worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? Well, I mean, of course you can. I, I okay then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Junpei, you just don't get it! <laughs> Remember that thing I said earlier about her being fine? Please don't make me regret that game. My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! Isn't that exactly what just happened? Something happened to him! Something... Something bad. Yeah. What happened? Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Hey, wait! Clover! Hold on! That way is- I told you to leave me alone! Clover, watch out above you! What's going on here? Hang on. I I'll get it open. With what? Your brute force strength? Oh, for crying out. You'll never do it on your own. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All three of you! <laughs> Everybody in this game is so obsessed with the gut reaction all the time is let's turn into the Hulk and use our brute strength to break through the giant metal bars. Damn it! It's not moving. <laughs> wow, really? I'm so, sh I'm so shocked. Wait! Are you gonna give up? Just like that? No, I'm not giving up. This has gotta be another one of Zero's puzzles. If it is, then there's gotta be a way to open it. Just what I was thinking. Now all we gotta do is find it. Lotus and I can look around out here. Clover, you're gonna have to see if you can find anything in there. Oh, yes, I'm on it. Okay, time to properly begin solving puzzles. Also, I'm gonna check something before, before before we properly begin the escape room adventure. I'm gonna check something really quickly. Uh, okay, first things first, the map. Okay, so we're here. The Clover's stuck in this room, so we're probably we're probably gonna have to work together with her. I'm guessing we're gonna have to pass materials back and forth. So we we don't we don't have much to work with here. We just have this table back here, and then she has this entire room. Okay, good to know. But what I wanted to check was down arrow to activate the flow. Okay, so we're going down the middle path. All right. Uh, so I'm guessing this is gonna be door seven because they made a big deal about it connecting later on. Um, I mean, I guess this could also tell me because it connects here, but it, it seems like a more direct connection here than here. So, so we're going straight down, and we're so we're on we're on track. I guess we could technically because I'm I, I've obviously it's it's clear at this point that this game has multiple endings. So it seems like so far we're still on track to get as many and like we we could still get any of the endings. This one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. We haven't been blocked off of any roots yet, so I guess we'll see what, what happens. But anyway, to begin solving... No, I didn't want to look at this. Okay, what do we have? Uh, we have door, and then we have tables, and we have a bunch of lockers. So, nine of them are open, and then nine of them are not. And these are small, these are large. Let's check these. Oh, wait, can I... Okay, so only one of them opened. And we have this. Good to know. Uh, what else? We, we have a computer over here. This is cool. The keyboard. The keyboard. And the mouse. The, great. This is the computer. The power isn't on. Well, there is a power button. This is a waste of time. What? I don't see a power cable. Oops, yeah, you're writing a power cable. Let me guess. We have to find a power cable. It's got a monitor keyboard mouse that's just stick, just sticking the power cable in isn't going to do anything. Well, I don't know about that. Okay, so we got to find a power... So we got to find a power cable somewhere. And where would we find the... Nope, nothing there. Okay. Well, there's a, there's a stupid fly flying around my room. Go, sh shoe, fly, shoe. There's a fly fluttering around my face. Okay. 
Um, what, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a power cable. Where are we gonna find? Is there something? Is there nothing down here that we can find? Okay. Uh, is there something somewhere? Oh no, nope, I didn't want to look at that. Is there something here? That's a lot. Of, there's a lot of stuff here. I don't know how we can use any of these. Well, I can say for sure I do know how to use at least one of these things. Which one? The, the one on top. I think it's a power cable. How one's the convenient? I I did I did say this kind of looked like it might be one. Okay. So let's I'll take that. Take that. Three prong power cable. Great. Okay. So we can use this to our advantage. Uh, can we cook it up to this? This monitor doesn't have a power cable, so one end of the cable needs to be connected to a monitor, and the other end needs to be plugged under the desk. Alright, let's just slip you in. Huh? Well, shoot, I can't use this. What? What's wrong? This cable has three prongs, but the socket only has two holes. It's not gonna fit, which is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need a plug to change the power cable to one with two prongs. Okay, great. Well, we don't have that yet. Okay, so where else can we... Can we, can we interact with Clover? I'm guessing we can go through here to interact with Clover. Junpei, do something, please. I... Can I, I, we must be able to interact with, with, um, with things through here. A window made of really thick glass. I don't even think a bullet could break it. Th there's got to be a way to get into this room. Ah, here we go. Okay. So what can we, what can we interact with in this room? Uh, this, this, this thing right here. I don't know what kind of table this is, but it's, part of it's all black. There's a pen lying over here. I think someone probably used it to make the table black. Well, if they only use the pen on one part of it, there's probably something underneath all that pen. Clover, do you think you can erase it? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is a permanent marker. Junpei, do you know how to erase things from a permanent marker? And then that would be why we have the bottle of ethanol. Yep, that would be why, that would be why we have the bottle of ethanol. Is this the cable we need? It's a rack. There are a bunch of cables on it. Somebody cut the outer stuff on the cables. Or uh, cut the outer stuff off the cables. I can see the wires inside. Uh, okay. Well, if you want to erase the... How do I switch? I can... Here. Nope, that's not... That's not... Oh, I have the wrong profile. Hold on. Switch to... Did that switch it? Yes, it did. Okay. I, I'm, I'm using a new mouse, and I like I have buttons on the side of the mouse because I, I I got sick of using the I got sick of having to reach for the V key to switch items. So I uh, I, 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 I I I mapped the the V key to one of the buttons on the side of the mouse, but I I, I had a, I, I had the profile set to a different game, so I I ended up pressing the S key instead. Uh, anyway, so. Right, let's, let's, can I give it to you? Part of the table has been co 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 colored over in black with a permanent marker. If I can ha find something that, we have it, it's this. No, it's not, it's this. Can I just, can I just give it to you? How do I, how do I, how do I, oh, do I, oh, I have to go over to the bars, right, to give it to you? Clover, use this ethanol. You should be able to wipe off that permanent ink with it. What am I going to wipe with? Oh, well, your clothes, of course. Haha, -ha, kidding, just kidding. Please don't look at me like that, you're scaring me. Okay, great. Uh, well, that worked, so now we need, now we need something to, something to actually wipe with. Well, is there, like, a sheet of paper somewhere here? A window made of really thick glass? Yeah, okay, we already went over this. Is there, I mean, there's paper here, right? Clover, can you use the cloth on the table? Y use, huh? Soak it in ethanol and use it to wash off all the stuff from the permanent marker, okay? Right, okay, I, so I gotta soak the cloth with ethanol. Yep, there we go. Uh, well, she got the cloth, but she seems to be having a little trouble with the bottle of ethanol. When she's ready, I should ask her to get to work on that stuff on the table. It's a bottle. How do you have you just you just open it and then you okay? Well, that's about uh, all I can do here. I guess we just let her do her thing. And what do we? What what else can we interact with? We've I feel like we've already looked at everything we possibly can in this room. Is there anything else in here that I missed? Like I wonder what this is. This thing here looks like a voltmeter, and this is the con and is this the control for that? Gosh, there's so many dials. Why don't you try turning one of them? Uh, nope, nothing. There's no power here, guys. I turned the dial a whole bunch, but even if I turn all the switches on, nothing happens. Okay, so this room seems a little bit more complicated than the last room, because I... There's not a whole lot... Like, there's no... There's, there's not a whole lot we can do outside this room. So I'm guessing most of it's going to come down to telling Clover what to do. But, I don't know. Okay, um... Can we... Like, how do, how do we speed her up with this? So the clo soak the cloth and ethanol and... Jump A. It's working. It's wiping the permanent ink off. Huh? There's something kind of weird drawing under all the permanent ink. What's the deal with what's the deal with the drawing Clover found? Maybe I should ask her to take another look at the table. Okay, well, let's do that. I wonder what this is. There are a bunch of numbers in some kind of grid. I can't see it from here. Clover, you've got a pen and notebook, right? Could you write me those numbers down and hand them to me through the bars? O okay, Roger. Great. Okay, so then I'm guessing we can give it to her through here. Here, Junpei. Uh, I wrote down all the numbers from the desk on here. Paper with numbers on it acquired. Okay, great. New materials may add to the file screen. Okay. I hope those... Okay, so we can... Uh, where's menu and then file? Uh, the Clover's note. The note Clover copied from the stand in the laboratory has four numbers with written three separate... Set. I... Can I look at the... It's off? Okay, there we go. Three, four, two, one. Wait. Hint was on by default? What? 
I, I didn't need a hint. I, I can clearly see what the numbers are. So it's three, four. I'm, guess, I'm guessing it's going to be the exit code. Which we can't do much with now, I'm assuming. Okay. Well, now that we have that, uh, is there... What, what else can we... Can we input it into here now? It looks like this is the door is the exit. The door on the right just goes to the laboratory. Nope, this door isn't going anywhere. No dice. It won't open. I mean, that's about as much as I expected. I don't think Zero would let us out of the room quite that easily. Okay, well, forget that plan. I could have sworn this is going to be the thing we could use for the two-prong adapter. Is there... there there's, a, there's so many cords in this room. One of these cords has to do something. How are the power cables over there? Huh? What do you mean? Does the plug have three prongs or two? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. Guess she just... She, guess she does have to kind of crouch down to get a look under there. The cable on the monitor has... It's got two of those little metal things. Okay, perfect. So, so then pass us that. Can you unplug the cable ring over here? Okay, but... But... Well, I can unplug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over to you. That's no good then. Well, how about just the plug? What? The plug? Well, maybe more like a connector? It's the sort of thing that makes the plug with the three metal thingies. Well, how... How convenient is that? Okay. Uh, not useless, not useless at all. That's just what we were looking for. Okay, can you hold on for a little bit? And back down she goes. And, uh, alright, unplugged. I'll hand it to you at, over the bars, okay? Perfect. So then, over to the bars, and here you go. The two-prong plug. Thanks. And now we have this. We can go over to the computer and attach it here. Junpei, why do we get the two-prong plug from Cover? Cover? Clover. Uh, so we could connect to the plug. Okay, then you then you do. Oh wait, we have to connect it, right? Yeah, we have to. We, we have to. I forgot we could combine items. So combine this with that, and then action. Okay, put the two prong plug onto the head of this power cable. We haven't had to, we haven't had to do that in a while. Okay, now that we have that, we can connect it here. All right, I've got a two pronged power cable in my hand. I'm pretty sure this will work. Pretty sure. Under the desk I go, and let's just plug this thing into the monitor. All right, that ought to do it. All right, let's turn the power on. Uh, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Why not? Well, it's not connected to the main computer. You never know until you try. Pretty optimistic. Huh, that worked. What? Huh? It's running on its own? It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Uh huh. Oh, it stopped. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Again? Uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. I wonder if it's the Could sheet of paper. Below? Yeah. I'm on it. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. Lotus? All right. Let's kick some ass. Uh... This is... I... I, I don't have any witty remarks for this one. Just, you know, maybe don't... Just, just look at the... Just look at the damn computer screen. Wait, wait, wait. Also, are didn't you... didn't expect that, did you? Expect what... What? It's is this the wait? I'm confused. Is this the first time you're noticing this? The, 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 okay. Of course I didn't. You're typing so fast. I, I can't even see your fingers. Oh, that, that, <laughs> that that's not. Wait, wait, wait a minute, game. No, 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 no. That is no, 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 no. Game, you know full well that is not what his eyes are looking at. You know full well that it, that that is not what his eyes are looking at right now. What kind of job do you have? What are you? Also, wait a minute. So, if that is what you're talking about, human beings can type fast. It's not. It's not an abnormal thing. I'm unemployed at the moment. I used to work for a cybersecurity firm, but I quit. Due to unforeseen circumstances. Why? Huh? Oh. Um. It was just. something. I see. I, I kept distracting people with, um, my fast <laughs> typing abilities. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute what? A brute force attack is. Well, the short version is that I just attacked the thing head on. The all, <laughs> all you people know how to do is brute force attack things. A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. By the way, I like the implication that she's typing away an insanely complicated program. 
in the midst of having a conversation with him because because programmers in video games are just the ultimate talent at everything. Yeah, but back to what we were talking about earlier. What were we talking about? Your fast typing abilities, obviously. A wireless display? It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, all right? So you enter one plus one. The screen will show you two. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no, not really. Oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that. Because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. It's just... I thought, maybe... What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Huh? Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, Hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. See? Doesn't it sound the same? Mmm, uh... Maybe the brain is just an output device. Like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else. In a main body. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. You know, you went from, hey, let's kill everybody, to existentialist psychological examinations in a matter of, like, three seconds. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications. We can uh, the brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. <laughs> that's just crazy talk. Maybe that's the cause of Saturn's amnesia. If me He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. Huh. I suppose perhaps they actually can speak or s the monitor just isn't functioning properly. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopag... What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? No. What is it? Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like blanks? No. No, I don't think so. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same, even though they've obviously got faces. It's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. The well, that's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Huh. I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. We did, because we played Spirit of Justice. And, um, uh, what were we talking about? I, I told you, you were talking about her... Uh, fast typing abilities. The idea that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. You know, the temptation... Nah, I I'm gonna do it anyway. It's called adulting! It's still not a verb! Come on, back me up, verb! It's not a verb. Whatever! By adulting. Oh my god, that movie was bad. That movie was phenomenal. Thank you, 999, of all things, for, for reminding me of Phineas and Ferb and how amazing the show and those and that movie was. Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Not funny. Go watch the movie if you haven't watched it already. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. Don't take it seriously. 
Okay, that better have major store significance later or else I'm not going to be happy that you wasted my time with that. It was the first thing that came to mind and I just talked about it to kill time. But, looks like I don't need to talk anymore. She talked about it whilst programming, okay. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Because oh, time's going to kill us. Whatever thing? I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> Piece of cake. The screen changed again. What the hell is that? And would you look at that? It is the layout of the codes that we can put in from the- or the layout of the, the sheet that Clover gave us. No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do any more. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, alright? I did my part. Yeah, uh, well, I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. And make sure you know when you should thank people. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Okay. Well, uh, from memory it was one, two, three, and then four. Yep, there we go. Easy. Alright. I solved it. Did you hear? I like for half a second I thought it was her face that appeared on the monitor because of how the how it's displayed. Did you hear a noise just now? Yeah, I did. Sound like a, something unlocking. Where did it come from? Uh, I I have no idea. Uh oh, it it unlocked the ah I see it was the right okay it was the remaining lockers to unlock. Look, Junpei, the lights on the lockers are green. Then we must have unlocked it with the computer puzzle. All right, and what do we have in here? We have there's more than one key in here. This is this one, the smallest thing goes to some sort of machine, and this one has the Earth symbol on it. I think the Earth symbol matches the keyhole on the door on the A deck. Well, if that's the case, we probably don't need the Earth key right now. Alright then, Earth key. I'll just tuck you away deep in my pocket. Now as for the other key. Uh, activation key. Okay, well, I'm guessing we're gonna need to give this to Clover. Hey, Junpei! Do you have a minute? What's up? I, um, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Junpei... You went into door five with my brother, right? Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? At how long you got? That I, I have, a, like, a, a whole list of things he said that were weird. Huh? Well, let me think. It, it really depends Sorry, on how much time you have. I can't really think of anything. Oh, do, oh plus, trust me, he said, like, a million strange things. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask- If you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if- Is Snake, uh, I mean, was he- There's born? a chase. Cut to it, please. You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. I, I wouldn't have assumed so. When he was a kid, he got in an accident. A really bad car accident. He couldn't see after that. And his arm. His arm? Yeah. My brother's left arm is... Um... It's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they... They had to cut off his arm. I didn't know we were playing The Walking Dead. Oh. <laughs> Uh, is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I, I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. But, okay, that, that was an abrupt cut. Okay, can you take the, the key that we got? Junpei, thank you so much for everything. For what? Well, what's this all about? And also, I'm sorry I messed up. Hey, we can talk about this when we get you out, okay? Just hang on, Clover. I'm gonna get you out of there right now, right away. Yay! I think this is the first time I've actually seen a genuine smile out of this chick. Okay, uh, can you please take the key? No, do we not? Do you not? Can you not? Okay, look, do we have to look at something in here for you to use the key on like this maybe? This is the monitor. There are a whole lot of cables under this table. Okay, what about this? Is there anything, uh, I don't know, you know? There are a bunch of cords hanging from the bottom of it. Jeez, this is a lot of cords. It looks like they all go over here into the mannequin's head. So the device and the mannequin are connected. What the hell are they doing in there? Oh man, back when this laboratory was active, this wasn't a, that wasn't a mannequin in there, I bet. It was a real life human on that table. I wonder what, no, I don't want to think about that. Okay, well, then maybe it's not something in this room. Maybe it's something, what could we even, oh, oh, here. We can use it here, this key. The shape sure makes it seem like it goes to this machine. All right, I'm turning it on. There we go. I, I honestly completely forgot about this. Okay, the monitor's on now, and it's full of letters. Is it? 
It's showing some kind of warning. Power restored to experimental device, and that would be the thing in the middle of the room. Okay. Emergency system will activate in the event of abnormal subject behavior. Okay. No, I didn't want to read it again. Okay, so now we can probably look at what's going on in here. Can we activate it now? This is the monitor. There are a whole lot of cables into the table. Okay, well, how about this? Junpei, this thing is in here is on now. Yeah, that's because we activated the power over on this side. Could you, like, play with it a little? Okay. Yeah, I'll turn the style here. Turn, turn, turn. I don't think it's working. Nothing happened. Well, maybe she missed something. I should ask her to look around the room again. Okay. Uh... Look around the... Maybe if you, maybe if you increase the voltage? Roger. Will do. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to max voltage. Max voltage? Hey, wait, Clover. Ah. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. What? what? Um, I think... Oh. Oh, what have you done? Oh, what have you done? Oh, you've made a very terrible error. Oh my god, the mannequin's head! Oh man, that's like a fire alarm. Great. Phenomenal. What the hell? Fire detect- Fire detected. Fire detected. The emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the room immediately. Yeah, there's a bit of a problem with that, because she's trapped inside the room! Oh. Uh. Okay, um, what- What- What do? Oh! Oh, the thing! The, the control device for the electronic door lock. The green light is on. Okay, can we get in? Junpei, look at the light. Yes, it's green. Uh, the emergency system has activated and disabled the lock. Now we can save Clover. Great. Okay. Junpei, come on, kid. Jump. She's safe. Oh, man. Uh, that smoke is some serious business. Wait. Uh, time to close the door again, I think. Okay, great. Close it. Uh, Clover, are you okay? Are you hurt? Cough, cough. Damn, she's coughing so hard she can't even talk. Ah, cough. Of course I'm not all right. What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? I did that almost immediately. What do you mean? I was almost dead. Sorry, I was going- Also, you're the one who decided to turn it up to max voltage. You two can do this later. Right now, we need to get the hell out of here. That fire's not gonna stay in that room forever. Okay, go. Leave. Now. Alright, we win. Easy win. I mean, actually, not an easy win. That was significantly tougher than the, than the last couple of rooms. But still, oh dear. What is this angle? Ooh, thank God we got out of there. But this is a, a very bizarre angle. Yeah, finally. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. Okay. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Huh? June? Santa! Seven! Hey, what are you guys doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Door 7 and door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. So I'm guessing if I check the flow, uh oh. I'm assuming I'm so I'm assuming that this does in fact mean door 7 then cuz they they connect right here. So yeah, okay. I was correct. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. And that's how the notary game works. Wait a sec. This leads to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm going to open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. Well, we just went in a gigantic circle. That's fun. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Here. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. I see. So this is Jupiter. 
I'm gonna let you hold on to that, all right? Yeah, on it. Well, I've got something for you too, then. Here, it's the Saturn key card. We found it in the kitchen. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way. Yeah, on it. So, how many unused keys do we have now? There's the Earth key we found in the laboratory. The Jupiter key you just gave me. And the Saturn key card from Lotus. I'll keep them safe. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. Just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well, I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Damn. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Yeah, I'll say this much. I honestly did not expect uh, Lotus to grow me a little bit. I actually, you know, she was actually kind of nice this episode. It was it was nice to have a chat with her, even if at the end it was like, haha, just, just, just joshing with you. That conversation was totally pointless, and I pulled it all out of my ass. Gotcha. But still, you know, it was a nice conversation while it lasted, I guess, so. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Great! Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course I... there's a reason. <sighs> That's really getting on my nerves. What did I say? I said, of course there's a reason, as opposed to I'm assuming there's no reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A Deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it. I think. So, the two keys that Jumpy has? Should let us use the elevator and the door on A-deck. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these, so don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great! It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. Yeah, that's not ominous at all. It... it opened! Look, Jumpy! <sighs> Sweet! It opened! Let's get going! Wha, wha, what? Uh, 
I'm not really, uh, I just, uh, oh gosh. June was probably afraid of, okay, let me guess, there's going to be a dialogue choice next, because it's, there's the da 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 thing, so let's take this one step at a time, click the left mouse button once, there we go, okay. June was probably afraid of being left up alone with a boy, or that they could only go down. Um... I wouldn't have. I, I would have. I if, if I I would have guessed she was probably afraid of. Hey, we don't know where, where we don't know where this elevator leads. We could be stepping into anything. Maybe there's a shark with the wings of an eagle and the pancreas of a lizard. Maybe there's creatures that are made completely out of rock, paper, and scissors. Bonus points if you get that reference. It's it's the it's the re it's it's the same reference I made earlier. Um. So yeah, I I would have assumed that. The neither of these seem like. I mean. It, it's it's. So, of these two, I'd say it's more likely for her to be afraid of this than this, because this is just dumb. So we'll pick this one. Well, um, we will be all alone in here. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. I said wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never... What, never ridden an elevator? No. It's your first time? I might... Get wet. You... What? Uh, oh, what? Down there. I get soaking wet. Wait, wait, you've never... Wow, <sighs> you've never swim before? Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere. Else. No, she's no. I, I okay. I I see what this game is doing. It's it's kind of annoying. Okay, so <sighs> all right, the phrasing of this is horrendous. So she's afraid that getting in the elevator and going down, they're gonna go down to where the it, it's 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 wet down there, like it because the, the 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 ship is submerged below deck. So she's afraid that she's gonna get she's gonna drown or whatever. So. But then that that leads me to think, okay, so are you afraid of taking the elevator? No, you're afraid of swimming? Because she said it, she's never done it before, so she's never swam before. But Jumpy over here is like in his own world doing his own things, and it's like, alright buddy, come on back to reality, please. We, we, we desperately need you back immediately. That's... that's true. <sighs> you don't mind? Mind what? Getting... Wet. Please stop. Well, uh, please I don't know. stop this. This is oh my I god. Think I probably, um, you know, like it. <laughs> this is the phrasing of this conversation. I swear to God. <sighs> See, earlier he was distracting by Lotus's fast typing skills, and now he's distracted by drowning. Gosh, Jumpy, you're so brave. Really? Uh, I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? The time, the, the fr this conversation, oh my god. Ugh. What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do, I guess. Yeah, you're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Can this conversation please be over? Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire. So. Please end. I'm, please let this conversation end. I, I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes. So, I don't think I'll be able to last very long. Oh my god! <laughs> Game! What are you doing? Stop! Oh my god! Ugh. This is actual. Oh my god, this game. What are you do? What are you doing? Uh, over? Yes. We'll go to heaven. <laughs> heaven? It feels kind of like you're floating in space. And your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Oh my god, this conversation. You know, imagine how this conversation would go if these people were actually specific about what they were talking about. Uh, yes, I've, I've heard that too. Although I, I don't think the same thing happens- JUST GET IN THE ELEVATOR, YOU IDIOTS! Wh what Huh? But it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone- JUST GET IN THE GODDAMN ELEVATOR! Once it gets into your body, Oh my everyone. god, just get in the elevator! Go! Go down! Well, I, I mean, um, 
usually it, it, it doesn't go inside, but man, uh, I mean, generally. I wish I had face cam on right now. Oh my god. How, how long? It feels like we've been here for an hour. How long have we been at this, this point? Yes, it does. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it. Eventually. I need to- I- 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 I need to take a break. I- this is- oh- oh god, okay. Okay. What are you trying to do to me? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Just say you're afraid of drowning! Oh, is that so? I know most men probably have larger lungs, but- Thank you, finally! Even then, I don't think you could Finally! Hold for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. I've been agonizingly waiting for your pads to cross into the same conversation so you figure out you're talking about two radically different things. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs once. Uh. Huh. Uh. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. See? <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, D-deck is completely underwater. Wow, we actually just sat through that for like at least that that, that that had to have been at least 10 minutes. How long were we there for? An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh. There's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. I, I think I can hear it opening on E. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. So the thing is, like, that that conversation, conceptually, you know, it's kind of like a haha -ha funny thing that's happening where they're, they're talking about two radically different things, but the phrasing of the dialogue makes it seem like they might be talking about the same thing, but they're very clearly not to, to, to a third-person omniscient uh, player that you know that you're not talking about the same thing. But that lasted way too long, like, seriously. Imagine they just opened up and they all immediately just got yep, flushed with water. Not a single drop of water to be seen. See? What does that mean? How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? It's an illusion. Ooh. Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! Ah, oh, crap, it closed! I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. And no, I, I was gonna end the episode. It looks normal. I, I was gonna end the episode on the on the fade to black screen, and be a total jerk, and be like, "Aha! You have to wait to find out what it looks like in the next episode." But I mean, this this is a this is a fine place to, to stop anyway. I figured I I I, I had planned I, I had planned to stop the episode. Once they got in the elevator and we went down here since I feel like, you know, it's a new episode exploring a new location, so I'll, I'll stop here. We've been going for a long time now anyway. Uh, that conversation needed to be cut in half. That was way too long. Um, and I can make a joke here, and I'm going to, so, oh dear god, okay, so the reason I wanted to end the episode here is because that felt like it was the climax of the episode. Ha <laughs> ha, laugh at my funny jokes. Okay, that's enough. That'll be it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more. 999 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. Goodbye.